Let's go to Joe. Joe Vecchioni. How you doing, Joe? Hi, how you doing? Yeah, not how bad. Um, talk to me. How's how do you think the game went? Well, I'm actually a bit less negative than some of the past people have just come on because what I saw was, again, another good defensive display. That's three clean sheets now, at least. Um, but yeah, I can only highlight that the, the attacking problems we've got. So on the counter-attack, we look good. We'll sit back, soak up pressure all day, hit teams on the counter-attack, perfect. The problem is in possession. When we've got the ball, we're not... Like we, with the place we've got, we should be good. But... I don't have Winks, Suzuko, when they sit in midfield, they're not spraying passes out like we should do. We're moving the ball way too slowly, just playing in front of the defence, I think. And, yeah, I mean, when when we're attacking, we go out wide to Ori every single time. And his delivery, I think he hits maybe one good cross out of ten. It's, it's just not good enough. We need to find new ways of playing when we have possession. Um Maybe it would be switching the formation slightly so we're more progressive down the left-hand side with Sessignon bobbing down. But for me, I don't know, Aurier just doesn't cut the mustard for me right now. I think, I mean, there was one point, though, when we had Kane in the box and five players outside the box. So maybe a case of our runs aren't good enough, but something needs to change going forward, for sure. But, but what is that need to change? Because do you reckon the players are most at fault or do you reckon it's Jose Mourinho's tactics? Tactically, perhaps, but I think, I mean, the, the players have their own voices on the pitch as well. I mean, they, they can listen to the manager all they like, but there's, there's got to be leaders within that midfield who think, OK, what we're doing, what, what Jose told us isn't working at the moment. Let's try something new. Let's get the ball moving a bit quicker. I thought, um, but, yeah, but yeah, partly, mainly, that's the way we're coached. That's the way he wants us to play. But I mean, like, players like Ndombele, La Celso, they should they should really... So sort of take the game by the scruff of his neck. Play play the ball quicker. You know, if if there's a pass on which doesn't necessarily have to go all the way out to Aurea, just just you know play the way that they feel like you know will win us the game. Don't listen to sort of what Jose wants us to do. I mean, I'm just frustrated. Well, so they shouldn't listen the to the manager. The midfield. Say again, sorry. So they shouldn't listen to the manager. I mean, it's a bold statement not to listen to to the manager, obviously, but I don't know. It's we, we we need we need more going forward, and if and if like not listening to the manager is the way we give ourselves more of a chance in attack, then maybe that's then what's the, the way point of having forward. him as manager if you're not going to listen to him? Well, I think we look at the positives though. He's improved our defense. I think before um, Poch, obviously, like towards the last part of Poch's reign, defensively we were, we were awful, yeah. disgraceful. But what he's done now is, like I say, we've got three, is it like three clean sheets now since lockdown, yeah. lockdown's finished? And yeah. I mean, that, that's got to be a positive. We've got to look at that positively. I think every good team starts with a good defence. And I think defensively, we are improving. It's now just focusing, going in the other direction, going forward. Yes, we can hit teams on the counter-attack, but just in possession, it's just not good enough. Not good enough at all. Whether it be playing... Maybe La Celso and Ndombele together. That might be the way forward. But at the moment, yeah, in possession, just not not cutting the mustard. So what did you make out of Ndombele? Because obviously everyone's been calling him for him to play. Uh, he hasn't played really. He hasn't started the last four games. Came on second half today. Uh, do you, did he impress you? Yeah, I thought, I, I mean, there, I mean, there wasn't a high benchmark set though after the first half. So I think... <laughs> yeah, of course. But I mean, no, no, I, I thought he was... I thought he came on. He was positive. He looked forward. Um, it went about the pitch a bit quicker than I thought he had been in the past, putting a few big tackles, um, slightly dangerous tackles, to be fair. But, I mean, I think he we he needs to be playing more games. He needs minutes. The only way we're going to get him at his peak is if we give him, like, the minutes and he builds up his fitness. We can, everyone can see there's quality there. Yeah. Those calling for him to be sold, I think. Ludacris, really. He's a player... Like I said, we need creativity in the squad, and he has creativity. He's a player we just need to give him minutes. People calling for him to be sold, I just I just can't say it. I don't feel like that's the way forward. But I don't, what do you think? No, I mean, I think his technical ability is probably up there, best in the squad, to be honest. I really think yeah. so. Um, but, you know, you can't, there's no getting away from the fact that he's got fitness issues. He really does. And I felt that he came on today, he broke the lines, but... 
still didn't get about the pitch well. I still felt he was a bit static and uh, didn't move about as much as he should have done. Um, I felt first five, ten minutes, he looked really good, but then he tired out. Do you think so, maybe it's worth playing Suzuko next to him then? Like maybe them two have performing a... I mean, I think, I think what is with Ndombele, he needs the minutes to build up his fitness and he's yeah. not getting that at the moment. So maybe Jose needs to just look at it a bit differently and give him an extra 20 minutes, half an hour here and there. But to be honest, I think there's more going on in the background than meets the eye. So I can't really... Really? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's no, there's no, I don't understand why he hasn't played more minutes than he has. Like, even if he, his fitness isn't up there, because... I, I think, what I heard was that, um, obviously, Jose was very sort of set on sorting out his defensive problems first. And with that, are you playing more conservative players in midfield? Like your Lacelso, your Winxers, your Sissokos. So, but I think now we're at a point where, obviously, our defence has improved now might be the time we start seeing Don Blake play more. Not Maybe not against Arsenal, but I think what after Arsenal, we've got, maybe, was it Palace away? Um, I we forgot got, the other two Yeah, games. we got Newcastle, then, then, um, then Leicester, then Palace, yeah. Well, I think those three games are going to be quite key and maybe that, that might be the period of time where he's released a bit more, given a few, few more minutes. Uh, but, but yeah, that's that's the way I see the Don Blake situation. All right, and finally, are we going to get any points this weekend against the scum? I mean, I actually think they're going to play into our hands a bit because I, I, they like the ball. They, they play with a lot of possession and I feel like with us, we'll be able to soak up that pressure and I think we'll hit them on the counter. I, I really do. I feel like that's kind of the way I think perfect teams play against would be Arsenal at this point. They'll suit the way we want to play. And I mean, early goal is key. If we concede early, no hope. I think if we grab an early goal, I mean, I'm confident every time we grab an early one that we will not concede. We won't concede. So, yeah, I mean, I'm confident. I mean, those wanting a draw against Arsenal, I feel like we've got to have a bit more pride about ourselves. Like, we're Tottenham, for God's sake. We can go to Arsenal. I mean, we're, obviously, it's not a big difference being at home without the fans, but obviously, it's our stadium, and I'm confident that, you know, we'll do it. I think 2 0 Spurs. I'm going for it. I'm going to be positive then. Uh, be positive. I, hope, I hope you're right, Joe. Thank you very much for joining me. No problem. Thanks for having me on, mate. Take care. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Bye.